I'm going to tell you about a theory that I have that I truly believe is what is going on. Um, I'd say it's 99% likely that this is what's happening, but because there's always that 1%, I'm going to say this is my opinion. So, I believe that God is using the narcissists and that they were working for God and doing the bidding of God unwittingly. And perhaps the devil knew what he was doing, but the demons did not. The demons are not that intelligent. So basically, in the end times, there are 144,000 saints, or first fruits, that are prophesied in the book of Revelations. And they were living a life without sin. And they were set apart from the rest of the world. And they believed in God. And they were like apostles during the end times that brought many multitudes of other people into faith in God and saved them. So it was important for these people to be set apart, to be isolated, to be protected from friendships and romantic relationships that would have prevented them from fulfilling future missions. Um, God needed to prepare us to keep us separate, to keep us from sinning, and even from forming friendships that just would have distracted us from what was important. So the narcissists aided in this. They isolated us. They protected us. Um, anyone around us that was our friend that was involved in the slightest of sins, they would tell on them, they would contact the authorities, um, they would blame us, they would have these friendships shut down and stopped, and then we would remain none the wiser, but nonetheless protected from the negative consequences that would have come about from such a friendship. A friendship that would have been fine for a normal person, but for the chosen ones, it was necessary that they not be distracted with idle friendships, watching cat videos, being too involved in the world. Um, it was important that we learned and prepared ourselves and improved ourselves. It was important that we maintained a higher moral standard than the rest of the world, which meant that there were very few friends or family that we could closely associate with. And the narcissist greatly helped in this, and they did not know. I believe that probably the devil did know. I mean, it's possible. I'm not sure whether the devil was aware or not. But um, if you read, if you read the Bible, there are always bits of key information that are left out. So it doesn't specify how exactly things will happen, and that's important. Because if it was clearly laid out, then the devil and the demons would know God's plans, and then they wouldn't happen. But by keeping certain things secret, not telling the full plan, then the demons played right into it, unaware that they were actually doing the work of God. They were molding us into the warriors that God needed us to be. They were protecting us from worldly negative influences. They were protecting us from distractions. They were setting us apart all the while. The narcissists were so hard to please that we kept trying. And we kept trying and it increased our patience, our kindness, our compassion, and our understanding. And every day was like a learning experience in how to deal with people how to put other people's needs first, but now we have to learn to put our needs first. However, every day with the narcissist was a training ground. It was like college. To become the people that God will have us be, I believe that we are meant to reign in the millennial kingdom. And so we must go through severe betrayals and feel that pain so that we would never dream of inflicting this on anyone else. So that when we get our kingdom spouse, and by that I just mean the person that we're going to be with, that we will never betray them. Because we could be living as long as trees, we could be living a thousand years. So by going through this horrible betrayal, then that ensures that we will have long-lasting relationship. 
by always striving to meet the demands and the needs of the narcissist who will always be unsatisfied, it improved us. We were elevating. And yes, we were set apart from the world. We weren't out drinking and going to clubs, maybe for a short while. But it set us apart to where we could form a bond with God, we could research religion, we could find out what was going on in the world. So the whole time the narcissists were working for God and doing the bidding of God, and they did not know. And it is possible that, that Satan knew, or possibly Satan did not know. But it doesn't really matter. Because... What is foretold in the Bible is coming to pass, no matter what. It doesn't matter if the demons are aware. It doesn't matter if the devil's aware. And if it didn't happen this way, it would happen another way. 